Hello guys, it's the Devnator here back in for another video and today we're in my garage at home. Uh, we're installing some new uh, D2 coils. I'll show you those right now. All right guys, here are both of the springs. We got the rear springs, which are a little wider, a little bigger. And then we got the fronts. Yeah. So as you can see, I've got the car jacked up right now. I'm using the factory jack and already loosened the nuts on this tire. We're just gonna, I went and got a spring crusher from AutoZone. And yeah, we're just gonna dig in. I'll show you guys when I get in here. All right, guys. So we're back in here. We're got the tire off. Right now I'm working on this bolt. As you can see, I just threw the light. Hold it up here somewhere. So, we have this bolt right here, and this is a, this is a 14 millimeter, if I could get it on camera. This is a 14, and then you're gonna need a 17 for Perfect. All right. So there's going to be this bolt down here. This isn't working. All right. So this bolt right here, that's going to require a 17. And then these three bolts under here. One. Two and three. All of those are going to be loosened and taken off. So you're going to have one, two, three, four, five bolts in total that you're going to take off. And then we should be able to knock this down and get the strut out of there. All right, guys. So we got the tire off and all that. We got all the bolts undone. We actually got the strut tower out. I got it on the springs right now, and then compress these a little bit more, take the spring off, new spring in, and then put it all back together. So this is where we're at on this wheel. I just got those taken out so the lower control arm is free. The strut is still in there, but I've got the brake um, line thing that connects to that off. I've got this bolt back here off, and the tie rod link thing. Um, so yeah, I'll probably set you guys up for a time lapse and then get in here and try to get that tout or the strut out. All right, guys, so what I've done so far is I've taken everything off of the spring. I got the spring that looked the closest like it. Um, that match the same rotation of coil, or like the coil rotation and everything. So, I just grabbed the one that looked nearly identical. And it happened to be the bigger one of the two. Uh, there was a smaller one. I'm pretty sure the smaller ones are for the rear. These are more robust and a little bit more stiff. So, uh, I cut off, where is it? Um, a part of the butt stop. Let's see if I can. Actually, I just put down this seal down here. Let's see if I can get it off again. So I can show you the butt stop. All right. So in here, You're gonna have this butt stop right here. And this was originally somewhere like that. It was on there and I cut it off. And then it goes into the top of here like that. And that slides 
and onto your strut. Then you're gonna find the opening. And you're just gonna spin it on until it stops. Then you're gonna come down here, if you look. And you're gonna push that until it snaps. Oh, it'd probably help if I got all that in place. Okay, there you go. And now that's in place. And I'm gonna go grab the top hat and then we'll screw it all back together. But yeah, that's the spring. Like it was, just came off the car, put everything back on, tighten it up. All right. Well, guys, it looks like it's going to be a two-day process. Um, so this little thing down here, this thing, I sheared some of the threads off trying to get it off. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I got to go tomorrow morning and get a... a uh, Man, I'm so tired. A tap and die set and retap these threads so I can finish the front because everything's done now. Um, we did have some trouble with the top hat. On this one, the top hat, this uh, in here. Sorry about that. In here, the nut would just keep spinning when we were trying to put it on. And then we got a pass-through uh, thing like this. Boo. And held an Allen key in there and spun it until it stuck. So now that's fixed and it's just that little rod. And then the fronts will be done. It took me about six hours. Um, so I'll probably just stay the night here at my parents work everything out in the morning, do the backs, record the backs, and then go straight back home to my apartment and take a nap. But yeah, so that's going to be all for tonight. I'll probably see you guys tomorrow, early, early in the morning. We're going to go to Arbor Freight.